Hey you. Hey you. Me? Are you sick and tired of your old boring makeup? Well, do you want a natural, bigger looking eye? Well then, wear this on. Wear what? Look again. Oh. Let's get started, shall we? Hey guys, as you can see, I already got half of my eye done. And before I start my video, I just wanted you guys to know that I am not a big fan of foundation or concealer, so I don't use them. Um, occasionally, so I mainly focus on my eye. So let's get the tutorial started. So first thing first, I prime my eye with a Mac paint pot and painterly all over my lid and on my waterline. Then I am using a white eyeshadow from my Sephora Colorista Custom Makeup Palette to highlight my brows and I apply it on half of my lids to brighten up my eye. Then I am using a dark brown color from the same palette that I used earlier with the angle brush to line my lids. Now, lining your lids with an eyeshadow first, it gives your eye an illusion of a bigger looking eye. As you can see, I am not winging it out, I'm just following my eye and bring it a little bit down on my waterline. But don't bring it down too much or else your eye will look really droopy and you don't want your eyes to look droopy. Now using a MAC Fluid Line in Black Track, I'm going to line my eyes. Like I said, um, don't wing it out, I'm just following my eyeshadow right now and I am going to make a thin line. And make sure that it doesn't go on top of the eyeshadow that you did earlier. Now going back with my Sephora palette, I am taking a tan brown color with an angle brush that I used earlier and line it on top of my line but not over the um, eyeliner. And you also apply that color on your waterline but not all the way, apply it halfway. Now using my gold eyeshadow with an angle brush, I am going to apply it on the inner corner of my waterline to brighten up my eye. Now I am using a natural looking lash because since this is a natural look, you don't want your lashes to stand out too much. Oh, and I'm skipping the applying mascara part because um, my lashes are really short and they're not really noticeable. So um, I think I can skip that. <laughs> Using my yellow shade stick, I'm going to apply it on the inner corner of my waterline again to brighten up my eye even more. Then for the lip part, I use my Bajor Tinted Lip Tint to tint my lips and it doesn't have a name on it, so I don't know what it's called. Then going back with my Sephora palette, I am using a clear lip gloss with a lip brush to apply it on my lips. After that, I am using my MAC Lipstick and Flash Pearl with the same lip brush I am going to apply it on my lips. And the last thing that I use for my lips is um, an NYC Kiss Gloss in clear and apply it all over my lip. And for the brow part, all I used was a Rama London in Professional Eyebrow Pencil in dark brown to fill in my brow. I am using a brow brush to blend my brow. Okay guys, so this is the finishing look, and um, hopefully y'all click like and subscribe. Oh, and one more thing, I skip using a blush because um, my cheek itself is already pink, so I just like to keep it really natural, so I skip the blush part, so yeah, see ya.